Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Hopefully you guys like rhyming, because it's time for the horn top hop. Say that ten times fast. Or don't. I'm not in charge. I barely know the rules. But something that I think should become a rule. Is liking videos, commenting on the ones you enjoy, subscribing maybe. If you're feeling up to it. So, another level. Another excursion in this delightful world. This one plays really heavily to like, I don't know, Alton horns. I think that's what those are called. Sometimes you're feeling, you know, a little musical, a little horn, it, you know, whatever you're into. Enjoy yourself. But yes. This is very fun. I'm gonna recommend you take Dixie as per usual. This is a very fun level. Which is great because the one that immediately precedes it is uh, gonna take months off my life. So there's that. And all of you watching are huge fans of vehicular, vehicular levels. You're in for a treat today. Oh, get... You know what? Get bent. There you go. That's good. We'll take that. But for some reason, we... Oh, are dead? Good start. Hasn't even been two full minutes. Wonderful. Thankfully, though, this level, relatively easy, all things considered. I probably just jinxed myself saying that. Should never remark on the difficulty of the level until things are well in hand. It's my hubris that prevents me from being an ultimate elite YouTuber. That's what it is. I'm just too confident. It's the only thing that I have that sort of belief in. Anyway. So, oh. Alright. I guess I could have seen that coming. Just leave me to it, and, uh, you know, this is what'll happen. What I was gonna say, before I betrayed myself multiple times, I think it's into- oh, no, I don't want Diddy. Oh, Diddy it is. See, and the first thing that happens when I get Diddy, I beat Spikes, so clearly it was not meant to be. Come on. So one thing that's a little difficult is that when you play this game, you know, each of the Kong Canyons, they have their own unique way of interacting with Donkey Kong, and they have their own special powers. I almost always will choose Dixie just because she is the most useful. That double jump is infinitely better, in my opinion, than a little flutter. No offense to Diddy or anything, I mean, he's not useless. That would be Cranky. Cranky is incredibly situational. I really only wind up using Cranky in most situations, but there's going to be a level with spikes. But even still, you can kind of get around it. In the same way that I'm going to get around this big old pig. Turn him into a ham sandwich. Alright, here we go. We can right the wrongs! And thankfully this level is a little bit more, I don't know, cathartic? Relaxing? It's not too bad. Also, the owls in the background blowing their horns. They're just really blowing it. They're doing a great job. Yeah, this level's not too bad. Relatively speaking, compared to some of the other ones, it's you know, on the easier side. Also, only five puzzle pieces. So that's nice. Now you might be thinking to yourself, I'm gonna continue along and roll down this hill. Mm -hmm. You will miss yourself a puzzle piece, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want that. Got a little bonus here. A little hippie hop bonus. Going high, going low. These are always fun until you mess up and then they're not fun. And then they are excruciating, so... Just don't make, don't make mistakes. In the same way that in Pokemon, should never faint, should never make mistakes. That's a lesson for life. Never 
make mistakes. That way you never have to learn anything. And besides, learning is lame, so... Oh! <laughs> well, I meant to jump, or... That's not what I meant to say. I meant to, uh... I meant to roll. I meant to rock and roll. I wonder if there's any benefit to getting that banana? Is there anything that comes out of this horn? Banana coin? Enemy? Great, I don't know if, there, I can't tell if there's anything up there or not. So if there is not, okay. There are spikes in the ceiling here though, so if you do want to acquire the goodies, you gotta do little, little baby jumps. And sometimes it's worth just taking a moment to explore and let those horns be blown. Sometimes they'll be a oh get out of here. This is probably gonna go down in history as one of like the worst renditions of this level ever. Oh boy. Need more things to jump on game? Help a brother out. Thank you. But yeah, this level's cool. I've always wanted to go to places that have giant owls, and uh, preferably owls that are musically inclined. You know, because like, what's the point going to places where the wildlife aren't capable of musical compositions? Like, there's just really no point, I would think. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh man. I got my oops coming out game. These fire pigs that they introduce in this world, for some reason, just always give me, always give me fix. Not sure why. And they don't make my hands want to clap. I know that. Ooh, here we go. The an angel. I don't think anything good comes from this one, but it also depends upon if I can get all the bananas. Nope, just a banana coin. I say that, like. I'm underrating the value of the banana coin. There might be, there we go. This is what I was saying is that sometimes you gotta be a little patient. Because the enemies around will sometimes give you a, a cool item. There's the banana coin. Oh, I messed that up. Great. Okay, I didn't even need to wait for that. I was being a little bit too patient. Okay. So you might think, hey, I'm done. Let's hit the barrel. Maybe wait a moment. Just wait a minute now. There's this kind of weird middle section where if you skip this, if you get a little bit too impatient, you will, oh. You'll miss your final puzzle piece. Oh man, I was gonna try to get all those bananas and be super epic, but I messed up. Yeah, this is kind of cool. You can kind of float around on the the upward draft, the air currents. I'm not sure who has the lung capacity to make this happen, but apparently someone does. I'm just gonna ride the wave. Okay, let's see what we can get. And yeah, okay, we'll take a life. Life isn't bad. All the Kong letters. All five of the puzzle pieces. Oh boy, here we go. I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for what I'm about to do. So this level is a little controversial. For me, shouldn't say that for everybody, but I don't know if I agree with that second adjective, the sawmill thrill, or I guess that second word, the only adjective. What kind of a mill is it? It's a sawmill. Okay, I'm just trying to bail myself out. But yes, thrill, mm, speak for yourself, game. It's definitely interesting. So here's our second minecart level of the game. But it's a little different. It's not just a minecart. So prepare yourself for that. It has a bit of a twist. 
shiver me timbers. This one. Oh, there we go. Good thing I <laughs> totally planned. 100% on purpose. This is definitely a lesson in ABD, everybody. Don't forget. Always be ducking. But yes. We are in a sawmill. Trying to accomplish all the thrills. And now we learn where, uh... I mean, minecarts gotta come from somewhere, right? So one of the mechanics you need to be mindful of in this level is that when you jump, there's a little bit of a... A little bit of a... a you'll sink down into the, into the water a little bit. So just be mindful of that, or don't. Smash into stuff, whatever you want, live your dreams. But it's kinda cool, little mechanic. Always be ducking once again. This, uh... This level is kind of crazy. Here's a bonus, though. Don't forget to jump underneath that owl. I'm not really sure how many times in life I've ever had... that be a part of my speech. Hey, don't forget to jump underneath that owl. But yes, if you don't, then you'll miss this little bonus here. You want to collect all of them, all the all the bananas. Oop, oh boy. Oh boy, can we do it? Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, I wasn't nervous. I wasn't nervous at all. Yeah, we almost have all the puzzle pieces now, which is interesting. We're missing one of the Kong letters, and our log flume has been turned back into a minecart. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but it is what it is. And we are going to be hunted down. Things are getting a little hairy. You gotta... You gotta make sure that your jumping is on point. Oop! There's a puzzle piece that I missed. I would love to die as soon as possible. Great! Oops, I almost clean swept that one. Sweeped. Swept. And I thought the music is just kind of goofy now. But the moment you jump into that minecart... It's like panic! Everything's horrible! But yes, I took the low road. I should have taken the high road. You should always try to take the high road. Unless you don't want to. And then don't. Simple as that. But yes. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> that one little piece, that little block that gets pushed out, is a little tough to jump on. Especially when you know that it's there and you miss it every time. Alright, so... No time for goofing around. We got business to take care of. So, this first one you can ignore, it's the second one. Oops. Okay. Jump on this one. Jump again. Snag that final puzzle piece. There it is. See, we're not completely boneheaded. Oop. And take your- oop. <laughs> At least I got it, right? Oh, I only have 81 lives, what am I gonna do? But, unlike other Donkey Kong games, I've been playing the original one for fun. Unlike the other Donkey Kong games, you don't have to go back and re-get it. So, we can just coast. Oh, oh boy. I like how when, when you miss something, you just crash into everything else. It's like nothing matters. But yeah, we got all the letters, we got all the, the puzzle pieces, now we just have to make sure we don't miss that jump. There we go. And is there a surprise? Oh, you betcha. What could this be? Ooh. Is this a portal? Maybe a secret level? Oh my goodness. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm a bad salesman. I'm not a good liar. Or maybe I am, because I'm telling people that uh, I'm the best at games, and I'm just so epic, and, you know, it doesn't always work out. But yes. So, that was great. It's kind of annoying that in certain levels like this, they decide to put the bonus, the secret portal, enter the portal, right at the end, which is kind of a bummer, because, I mean, you're like 90 per- Ooh. <laughs> Oops. My bad. I was having a little bit too much fun. 
they put the bonus portal right at the end, so you basically just have to try to survive, which I will do. I don't have to get any of the goodies this time around, which is nice. So let's see if I can clean sweep it. It's very convenient, but you only have to do that once. So you can just focus on collecting bananas, lives if they're around, whatever you're into. But yeah, it takes a lot of the pressure off, which is nice. Because I'm always under so much pressure. Playing video games is stressful, so like, back off. Okay, for real. I can't imagine doing this for a living. Getting paid to do that? Woo. Okay. But anyway, yes. So what I was trying to explain before is that you get submerged a little bit in your little raft. So every time you jump, you will sink into the water a little bit. And there's that spot where we did the bonus after the owl right there. The first one is not a bonus. That encounter with the owl, if you jump and uh, you try to sink into the wall there. Oh, it's this one, sorry. Not the other one, I lied. Third time's a charm. Oh, uh, you'll die, so. And you'll die if you do what I just said, so. Mind yourselves. Here at D Mike Industries, we like to make sure that people are paying attention, so we try to give a little bit of a trick answer. Seeing if you're really listening. That's kind of an important part. Listening comprehension. It's for your it's for your health. Oh, and see I do it on my first try there when there's no pressure, but when the stakes are high. But yes. So this time around, we're not gonna take the little bonus, we're gonna head along we're gonna we are going to abj we're gonna always be jumping right here and you actually do have to make that jump there before you hit the crooked tracks if you don't you'll die so that's fine oh my finger got stuck it was a little slimy okay not so bad i always sweat the levels that i don't have as much experience with and my muscle memory it just makes me so nervous Okay, so we unlocked two levels, one with the bonus, one with the regular, the regular. And while I'm at it, let's go ahead and buy some figurines. Let's do, uh, I said I was going to do it before, I didn't do it in the previous episode. So I'm going to do ten, let's see what we get. Okay, we already have that. Okay, great. It says, better luck next time if you get something you already have, so. I'm not entirely sure... How many there are, but here you go. This is exciting. I'm not sure if there's like rarity or RNG and whatever. There you go. Also, I love the fact that uh, Funky has his own parrot. Tox or whatever his name is. Tox and Squawks, okay. So next time, nope, next time, we're going to be taking on level 2-5, the Alpine Incline. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country. Tropical Freeze. I almost said Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, like, multiple times in my head. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.